That message is written in the book of Daniel's 12th chapter. Those that turn many to righteousness shall shine as a brightness of a star. Roughly paraphrasing there. All right. So it says, and the second king saying, Lord, thy power have gained five pounds. And he said, likewise to him, be thou also over five cities. You see? So there was another man that had um, less amount of money and he used a less amount of money than, than, than the first man. And he also gained from that too. He gained more from that, a little more. So he's going to have what? As it is a parable, just to remind you, it's not literal, it's a parable. He was given the authority to rule five cities. So once again, I'm going to say that, that that applies to us because we're putting in that work. The little ability which was given to us, the talents which was given to us, we're putting it to use. And we're turning men into righteousness with the little talents that we were given. So because of that, we're going to be the ones to rule in the next kingdom. It would make sense because to rule over a kingdom or an empire, you have to be diligent in your work. So this is the test. The Lord has set up his kingdom. But before he sets up his kingdom, he has to prepare his men to be diligent in doing his work. So that when they, they when they are diligent in doing their work, they're um conditioned to doing work. That's why um the, the scriptures talk about being diligent. Because the more diligent you are, what is it? The more in tune to the work that you're doing. Okay? The Lord ain't concerned with slothful individuals. All right? It says that the slugger would not plow by the reason of the cold. <laughs> you got certain guys that say that uh, they don't have to go out in, when, it's, when it's brick cold. Well, that's an old individual anyway. Right? I said certain guys. I meant a certain guy that we used to get on ages ago. But he's left the scene. M.I.A. No way to be found again. Be honest, so, I don't blame him to start with. You know, he already withdrawn from the fake long time ago, man. That dude, uh, what's his name, man? McQuash. You know, he would usually go out for a particular point of time, and then you didn't really see him no more for, for months on and then, and he would come back out. And I'm talking about later, probably around maybe 2016. 16 or 17, something like that anyway. But now you don't even see them dudes out in the street anymore. Because, again, they were coming up against us, man. They were coming up against us about this um, MOTB prophecy. And coming up against us and going out into the highways and the hedges. While it was, you know, wrong to do it because of the weather. But as Paul said it himself, as Paul was a man of God, hence his name, Paya Al in the Hebrew, which means the mouth of God, he said, be instant in season and out of season, rebuke and reprove of all long suffering. And that's it. So whether it be cold, whether it be raining a little, whether it be extremely hot, or it's nice. In the month of spring, we got to do the work, baby. And doing the work, again, keeps us occupied. Yahweh told a parable to the disciples of this. Can you hear me? He said, occupy till I come. In the parable that he gave of the money changes, oh, excuse me, the money traders, which I'm reading right now. So anyway... Verse 18. And the second came saying, Lord, thy pound have gained five pounds. And he said, Likewise to him, be thou also over five cities. And another came saying, Lord, behold, here is thy pound, which I have kept laid up in the napkin. Oh no. And from I fear thee, because thou art an austere man, and thou takest that that thou laidest not down. A reapers that thou didst not sow. And he saith unto him, 
out of thy own mouth will I judge thee, thou wicked servant. Thou knewest that I was an austere man, taking up that I laid not down, right? Reaping that I did not sow. Wherefore then gave his not thou my money into the bank, that at my coming I might have required my own with usury. And he said unto them that stood by, take from him ten pounds and give it to him that hath ten pounds. So that also applies to men that knew what the will of the Lord was on their behalf but did not do it. In other words, they didn't go out there and preaching. Or if they are preaching, they didn't preach the truth. Okay? So they forsook the job which was offered of their father in heaven and they, and they didn't do the job the right way. Alright? So with that being said, when your shot comes back, those that have, have forsook the work and his agenda, his counsel, let me use that word instead, they're going to be casted out into out of darkness. In other words, um, and yeah, with that, excuse me as well. Um, I just want to say this too. Also, you know, after I get done doing this particular lesson, I'm going to also do another sit down, Lord willing, of what the consequences are going to be of those that are contrary to having faith. All right. And what you're going to find out, the consequences are not going to be pretty good, man. So, we're in a situation where we have no choice, brothers, but to have faith. We have no choice, man. Even to the very end of this thing, we're going to have to continue on in believing, man. Even, even if some of us are going to die, because some of us are going to have to die. For the sake of the name of Yahweh Shai. Um, and and uh, as you well know in the book of Revelations 20. That you're going to have certain men which 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 are going to be guillotined. For the sake of the word of the Lord. You know. But even in that you got to always remain in belief. So that your works do follow you man. And as it is written the dead in Yahweh Shai shall rise first. And there's been men elders and as well as men even presently that have died for this truth you see so when the Lord in the right place at the right time when the Lord delivers us into the into the chariots or he is about to the men which will first be delivered are, the, are those that have died they're going to be risen back up into those chariots and changed and receiving their reward and then those that have remained alive will be caught into the clouds with him. As it is written, we shall all meet the Lord in the air. So that reward is for those that have endured bearing their cross. And in bearing their cross, they put their talents up in use. All right? That's exactly what they did by faith. So verse 24, Luke 19 and verse 24, and then he said unto them that stood by, take him the pound and give it to him that have 10 pounds. And they said unto him, Lord, he have 10 pounds. But I say unto you that unto everyone which hath shall be given and from him that have not, even that he shall be taken away from him. So the talent that you don't put to use will be taken away from you, man and given to somebody else which is abundant in the few talents which was given him in other words the work so if you're not putting in that work according to as it is written then the Lord is going to take away that ability that you have that you were supposed to use to do the work of his remember as he said in the, the parable and I'm going to quote it once again occupy until I come in other words do the Lord's business until he comes okay so, in order for you to do all of that, remember, brothers, and I'm going to keep saying it over and over and over again, is that you got to continue on with having faith. Now, if you don't have the faith, you're going to endure for a while, and then you're going to fall on the wayside, and you're going to stop doing the work, and therefore, you will then become that wicked 
slothful servant. And that wicked slothful servant that does not his father's will will be slayed before the son of man when the son of man makes his second return. So you got to read between the lines of the parables which is given. But as it is written, we only understand these parables because it was for us to be given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. Because we're those disciples coming back in the reincarnation, playing our part. As it is written, what was of the prophets is subject unto the prophets. So when we read the parables, we can see right through it. Because we're those men which was given the gift to do that from the jump. Okay? And that's what, two hours and 15 minutes. That's too long, man. <laughs> oh, shit. I didn't expect to go that long. Maybe an hour 40 or so, but not two hours. Okay, um, yeah, so now let's read this. Seeing thou a man diligently in his business, he shall stand before kings, and he shall not stand before mean men, exactly. Like the parable that he gave of the, the money traders, right? And I made mention of the, uh, the term that he used, the term occupy to become. And that's why I wanted to bring this out because, you know, when you're diligent in doing the work that you do, and certain people see that that are above you in your position, they promote you, man. You know what I'm saying? So, how much more Yahweh shall remember? It says, um, promotion come of not from the east to the west, but from the most high. So if we're doing his work and diligence and we're occupying until he comes, then this is going to be the glory that we're going to receive. Seeing Dolly man diligent in his business, he shall stand before kings. And he shall not stand before me, man. So again, remember I said earlier before, a couple of minutes ago, I think about maybe 20 minutes ago, uh, you know, we've, been diligent and still diligent to this very moment in time and because of that um, we're going to be rewarded in, in ruling in the kingdom because we've already did the work and we've already been hypnotized to doing the work the way that we do it in diligence so now the reward is just going to have to us excuse me it's going to have to be that we are promoted to a level to, to where we can rule the earth so this is just the test man it's just a test. It's all the test. Oh man, I'm gonna go over here and just take a stamp a little bit. <clears throat> yeah, this is where we used to teach at man. Right over here. But yeah, like I was saying though, man, our Heavenly Father made us to be diligent so that eventually we can be equipped to rule the next world okay you get promoted even among men like people you may work at the job and whoever's above you at the job will promote you because they see the kind of work that you do and they like what you do and it can bring much more to the business and add more to the business so to speak so then you get promoted man you know what I'm saying so how much more the most high and his son we're going to be promoted because remember the heavenly father sees everything and what he does see is the amount of work that we're putting in 